Welcome to another video on the Philosophical Weightlifting YouTube channel. I am Joshua Gibson and I will be discussing a common exercise to fix a very common technical problem. So a common problem that people run into during a lift, uh, specifically the snatch and the clean, is getting off of their full foot early in the pull and getting onto the balls of their feet. What this does is it actually minimizes their base of support. Uh, the base of support being defined here as the area of the foot in contact with the ground. When you remove the foot from the ground, you actually decrease the surface that the lifter can create force against. So you're actually minimizing the, the amount of space that a lifter can use to create force, that force which will be transmitted into the bar and ultimately result in the, the height of the lift. When you get off the foot early, this obviously can decrease what you can put into the bar, um, altering height and often altering trajectory if you're kind of accounting for skill level. Generally, more advanced athletes will get off of the full foot and onto the balls of their feet early, but they're still able to provide the correct trajectory to the barbell, which is in a straight line up and then subsequently back over their head uh, right behind the ears. The solution here to this very common problem is to emphasize the flat-footed position. This can normally be done with a pole, a flat-footed pole, or the flat-footed pole uh, mixed into a complex preceding an actual lift. This is relevant mostly because it's been talked about by a bunch of very high-level coaches and very high-level athletes and has been, been used with a lot of success. The names that come to mind include Dave Spitz of Cal Strength, who has used it numerous times with numerous athletes. The video linked here will lead to Kelly Wilde. I remember talking to Vladimir Safinov, a Russian national team coach, who mentioned that a majority of his poles actually are done with a flat foot. Uh, he rarely has the athlete come onto the balls of their feet, finishing tall and, and with a complete extension. The Georgia national team will be uh, quite the example to use here, given that a majority of their athletes use this exercise as a way to drill the correct technique and to improve their ability to maintain flat-footed at the top. Uh, and one thing you'll also notice is that Lasha and a handful of other athletes on Team Georgia actually bias their heels and tend to get kind of rocked back. Uh, I'm assuming it's a way to really further emphasize the positioning at the top. Uh, again, this can be performed as a standalone exercise just with the pole. Uh, so sets of two, sets of three, sets of four, sets of one, honestly. Um, again, emphasizing the pull itself. It can be done with maximal loads, emphasizing force production, along with technical changes and technical consistency, or it can be done with lighter loads, emphasizing rate of force development, and just trying to tighten up the technique with weights that are a little, a little more manageable. This can also be done within a complex, preceding a full lift, preceding a hang lift, preceding really any movement, uh, as a complex is just a string of lifts put together that create a collection of movements, um, usually with a snatch or a clean. Hopefully the examples listed within the video and the movements demonstrated here can be useful within your program or within your training methodology, training philosophy to help improve your technique if you struggle with keeping your feet flat on the floor through the entirety of the lift, especially at the power position. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below. You can like the video, share it with your friends, and we will catch you guys next time on another video on the Philosophical Weightlifting YouTube channel.